Hi, I'm Laurel and welcome to my workshop, also known as the Art Shed. I'm an acrylic artist and I really love working with texture and I wanted to show some examples of the different kinds of things you can do with acrylic mediums and textures and what they look like. Here's an example of a of a crackle medium that forms into these kind of plate-like substance and you can see this is almost like lizard skin, like scales. Here's an example of a different kind of crackle medium that forms cracks as it dries and once it's dry you can actually dig into it and manipulate it to some degree. This painting is a larger example of working with that same medium uh, where I've got layers of paint underneath it and on top of it and I've really gone in and carved into a lot of the areas to accentuate uh, certain pathways and certain cracks. Here's an example of a different way of creating texture and in this case it's with layers of paint and shellac that gets lit on fire and then painted once it's cooled off obviously uh, more layers of paint on top of it and you can see in this case it created this interesting kind of bubble stuff and what's fun about working this way is you really can't predict exactly what it's going to do but then you end up with this interesting textured surface that that you get to paint and play with uh, once you're done. Now this one's a different kind of acrylic medium that is clear, it dries clear. So I've got layers of paint underneath it. I created this texture while it was wet, it dried clear, and then I have additional layers of paint on top of it. And so it gives a very unique kind of look. And you can manipulate uh, a lot of these acrylic mediums while they're wet and whatever you've done with it, whatever kind of texture or shape you've created, it will harden into as it dries. I've got a couple of examples of a different uh, opaque medium that's similar, that you work with in a similar way, uh, that you really manipulate it while it's wet and whatever you've done with it, you have create the surface with these textures and in this case lines and shapes um, that you then paint over. And in this case I've got layers and layers of paint to kind of get this sort of effect. Here's another larger example of working with that same molding paste that you work with when it's wet and whatever you've done with it when it's wet, it will dry into those shapes and textures. And you can see how much texture you actually get out of this. It's all, it's very fun to poke. This is actually layers of paint and a clear acrylic medium called pouring medium, and then more paint, and then more medium, and then more paint, and then more medium. And you can get a sense of the depth and the fact that some of it is just set back. Things are on top of each other, but there's space between them. This is another example of working with layers of acrylic paint sandwiched between clear medium. And there is a little texture to it because of using thick acrylic paint on some levels. You can actually feel that a bit, but mostly this is about the depth. This is an example of using the pouring medium with a textured background. There's uh, a layer of paint with glass bead gel in the back there that gives that kind of a, I don't know, almost curtainy, wrinkly effect in the back. That's actually glass beads and then layers of clear and layer of paint, layer of clear and layer of paint. So it's all kind of sandwiched in and this is actually a double panel. Now here I've used that pouring medium as well and for texture um, first of all I have a, a background of iridescent paints layered and then pouring medium that I've set in clear quartz sand so there's crushed quartz sand here's another one similarly done with layers of iridescent paint in the background pouring medium and clear quartz that gives a really nice textured sparkle my painting process is very intuitive, very experimental, and I like to work with different mediums and see what happens, see 
where they tell me to go next. And that's really the fun and the joy of it.